Well, Yuki and Jessica, it's important to note that the outbreak was first identified in late September, and any facility using those syringes in question was told to immediately stop their use and to send them back to the manufacturer. So it does appear to have been caught early. But since then, health officials say they've identified nearly 150 cases of this bacterial infection across multiple states, some of them in our region. After weeks of investigation, health agencies in multiple states say there are now 149 cases of the bacterial infection Burkholderia cephacia, a germ typically found in soil and water. As of last week, there are currently 52 cases of this bacterial infection in New Jersey, 26 in Pennsylvania, and four in Delaware. The rest were found in New York and Maryland. The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention has linked the multi-state outbreak to pre-filled syringes from the Texas-based company Nurses which voluntarily recalled those products in early October. It's likely that there's some problem in the uh, in the manufacturing of the saltwater syringes uh, and that the salt water is not adequately sterilized. Most of the confirmed cases have been in patients at long-term care or rehabilitation facilities. Dr. Neil Fishman, an infectious disease expert, says the bacteria can be resistant to the first line of antibiotics and symptoms may vary. Fever, sweats and chills would be most common. But he says it largely affects those with weakened immune systems or cystic fibrosis. That means most individuals are not at risk and should not panic. Uh, there really isn't a risk of it being transmitted person to person. The only risk, ongoing risk, is if, is if there's ongoing use of the contaminated syringe. Now, in a statement, Nurse Assist wrote, quote, patient safety is the number one priority at Nurse Assist. We have been working in cooperation with the CDC, FDA, and various state health departments to ensure patient safety. Now, there have been six deaths out of those bacterial infection cases, but health officials say it's not clear whether that's due to the bacterial infection specifically or from another cause or condition. Anyone who may have been exposed should see a doctor. That's the latest here. I'm Anita O, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. All right, Anita. Thank you.